Yo, viewers, every person should create a new integrated circuit every day. Then once a month, they should pick the integrated circuit that they like the best out of those that they have created to actually make, to fabricate, then test, and possibly use. Now, designing an integrated circuit is actually a little bit different than inventing a new thing. It's actually an applied technology. Now, the reason I thought about this is I was thinking, what if Jesus had said every person should write 10 or 20 words every day? Well, 2,000 years ago, that would have caused huge numbers of people, perhaps billions of people eventually, to write 10 or 20 words every day. And that would have meant that a huge number of people at all kinds of varying levels of society uh, would have been given a greater voice as well as greater uh, cognitive meaning. Uh, as a feminist, uh, centuries of what women had to say would have directly affected the world. Thus, right now, if you think about it, uh, if Jesus were right here, Jesus might do well to tell us all to make an integrated circuit every day. Here's why. It's actually a lot easier to learn how to make an integrated circuit than to read and write English. Uh, I'll give a few uh, things that I've thought of during the past 24 hours. Uh, some of them are quite simple. They're the kinds of things that somebody who is, say, between the ages of seven to being a teenager can do. Others are the kinds of things a uh, person who had more practice would do. One of these things has to do with handy phones. Uh, right now, I'm talking on a handy phone. Uh, during the year 2011, handy phones had what was called a battery life, while the researchers were working on creating handy phones that work from induced uh, electricity only. One approach to making handy phone battery life uh, longer would be to have the uh, microprocessor recognize that the person talked to just a few people most frequently, and then it would make a software model of all the words or phonemes that that person spoke. And then rather than talk to the uh, transmission tower to receive the entire content of what the person was saying, they would just go for the difference between the standardized phoneme and what the person actually said. And perhaps that would mean that only a tenth as much material had to be transmitted over the handy phone's radio. That would save electricity, and that would make the battery work longer. Now, to create an integrated circuit that does that, uh, there are some approaches. One approach is to assemble uh, what are called IP cores, intellectual property cores, that other people have already produced that uh, do many of the things already. And then you link those together uh, with buffers and latches and things like that um, to create the preferred effect. The other possibility, of course, is just to redesign the microprocessor. And of course, microprocessors are vast. Uh, many millions, perhaps billions of transistors. I think billions of transistors. Uh, so creating an IC that uh, does that is quite different than creating a microprocessor uh, that does that, or adjusting a microprocessor to do it. Uh, a much uh, less vast kind of thing, um, although you could certainly just use the IP core that was represented as the microprocessor with software, and then you could um, attach your um, assembly language program or um, a machine language program that did the v required things uh, as a separate IP core and then had the um, microprocessor refer to that. I'm rambling. I'm just going to have to like um, move along here, I think. Uh, it's just it's just really rude to um, 